Hey guys, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to look at the new studio series Revenge of the Fallen Jolt from the movie Transformer Revenge of the Fallen back in 2009. So say no more, let's begin. So here we have Jolt as a really limited screen time Autobot on the film because like let's be honest, the only memorable scene of him is like the scene when he feels Optimus and Jetfire. But yeah, due to Hasbro like a product and new series, here we have him finally at a studio series figure. And I must say I'm really happy. I'm really looking forward to finish my Revenge of the Fallen lineup and then I can move on to Dark of the Moon and so whatever. So here we have Jolt and let's take a look at him. So we begin with the face, and I must say the face of him is quite funny. He, is, he, he looks like he's smiling, and you got some silver paint, you got a painted blue eyes, and that should be it. And also you got two really strange navy blue strips onto his head. Which I mean, I can understand for the ideas of the colors, but why there? I mean like, why, why not more? But why only this? And this is, I can say this is maybe screen accurate, because we never actually get to see his face in the movie or he get any like really spotlight or any quote to go with it so that should be for the face now looking at the torso section i must say this is one of the favorite the unique torso design that i really like you see like the whole chest section is like showing out the details without any coverings you got a lot of silver paint in here for some piston and some turbines over there with a lot of silver paint and that somehow highlights the figures and you also got some blue as some armor piece i guess and you got a gray belly and that should be it and otherwise moving that to his crotch and thighs i must show you this clear piece of plastic here i really i enjoy the ideas the idea is to show is like we can still see something inside of him highlight over there because let's be honest if they have went with another color instead of that black clear plastic i would be disappointed and he got a really large size skirt that is quite large for a deluxe and he got some details onto the knee as well and this guy share the same leg form as size wipe. And I must say that this is one of the my favorite leg design. I know I have always liked robots with this kind of leg. And moving up to the highlight, I believe, which is the arm section here. This is really nice and articulated. And you got a lot of paint here and there. The armor onto the side of the arms. Normally I would hate this idea and would wish that they would be clipped on, but for Jolt, somehow it makes him look really strong. I mean, I guess that is because he don't have a finger hand, but he got a whatever a claw hand, and that is really nice. And of course, for you can remove one of his finger out, but that should be for later. Now I'm gonna put just put it back in. And now moving down to the back, and this is a case when I say that back cable is not a real problem to me, because the thing is that they designed this back cable piece to look like a cape, you know, like a coat, and accompanied by the side skirt and the wings I get I guess so if you're looking for the front he doesn't look like cable at all and especially because when in the back they fold one they fold this piece up so like yeah that is gives us the feeling of clearance and yeah this this is one of the time that I feel like backpack is not a problem to me at all now moving down to his accessories so here has only two accessories which is his electric wire and hook so to attach them, it's really simple, you just remove the finger. So now I know that this is an extension of his finger. I thought that is like a separate gun or something. So he hooked it like that. And the sad thing is that the arm, the wrist is not articulated. So it only stays in this position and you have to move the arms and the arm. You have no rotation. I wish that they have included a rotation in there, that should be better. And if you are get to the fear of losing this finger, you can also attach them onto this size here. I mean that is like nice meat weapon storage and personally for me about this wire I would wish that they have went with some flexible cables like you know with the Gundam's model kit or anything something like that so I can post actually post with this instead of having fixed like that I quite don't dislike that idea and you can also remove this and plug it to other oh, transfer hand I'm gonna use with my Studio series dino over here. So for this, you can remove dino's blade, and you can attach it onto his arm like that to mimic that highway chasing scene. 
and that is why you absolutely need to buy Jolt if you have already purchased Dino. So the articulation begins with the head, you can look up and down and hits on the ball joint so rotation but some, some, sometimes things got blocked by this two neck arm over here so that's limited. His arms can move out like that no problem to spin but they are blocked because of how blocky everything is so that is quite hard for him to get into some poses. He got a butterfly joint so that won't be a problem. He got a bicep swivel. This is the bend of the elbow. Over 90 degrees a little bit. And unfortunately like I have said the wrist can do a rotation but they can do a bend like that. And this finger is removable and articul articulated because it is on that tab. He got a weight swivel <coughs> so he can do a full 360 no problem. And this is a kick to the front. And I must say that at this point, there's something I don't like about this guy design. It would be the side skirt. I wish that they have include a pulling out gimmick so that the side skirt doesn't get into any way of articulation. But here we have the side skirt here, so yeah, that's kind of sucks. So yeah, like that. This is a kick to the back. You got split, like I said, limited by the side skirt. You got the bend of the knee. And this guy doesn't include any thigh swivel, but you do get a swivel down here like that and you got some feet articulation but unfortunately Jolt here has no pivot on the feet so that is will be a problem so I mean articulation why I'm really glad that the backpack doesn't get into any ways of articulation but then yeah the transformer gods has a way with us so here we have the side skirt just a some more joint on gimmicks and that will be getting into any troubles of moving the leg but other than that I think this guy is good enough decent for deluxe and I enjoy his detailing and everything now let's see if I enjoy his outer mode like this mode here for some size comparison here we have Jolt next to Studio Series Ratchet and Studio Series Optimus Prime. So you can see the size. I mean, this is the Studio Series line, so they are really famous for their scaling system. And I must say that I'm really happy with this sort of scale. They look brilliant together. And now let's get to transformation. Finishing transforming Jolt, here we have him in the vehicle mode, which is a Chevrolet Volt. I think this is the 2009 version, because that is the year that we have the movies Revenge of the Fallen. And so this is a really clean vehicle mode, with barely any details at all, except for some painted parts, which is the mirror and the front. Got some painted details, and you can see a silver Chevrolet logos here. And one thing I don't like about this is if you look at the top, the black plastic is kind of easy to get dirty by leaving prints all over them. So I would really recommend that you handling this guy with care and no sweat at all because that is just look bad to me. And other than that, we have nothing else too special. If you turn around on the back, you see we had some bricks, lights, and that could be it. And another Chevrolet logos. You got some painted details on the tire some silver and that should be it and if you t flip him around you see that this is obviously a case of shore formers so despite from that I enjoyed the clear plastic and just look at that amount but like I have said they are way too easy to be dirt to get dirty so yeah it is a minus point and if you look at the blue onto the front here that is some kind of a matte blue plastic and it gives a really nice touchy feeling onto it that is really nice and of course you can store his wires in this mode by tapping them into this here 
I mean like not the best weapon storage, but it works, you know. So it kind of gives me a, like a Mad Max feel. And it still rolls pretty well. And here we, for some size comparison, here we have him next to Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe, which will be in my next video, so stay tuned. And you see they are on the same scale. So that should be it for today. Tell me what is your opinion about this figure in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, press that subscribe button and ring the bell for upcoming videos. Also follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description. So see you next time, Tonton out.